Welcome, sisters and brothers, to Praying Through the Psalter, a brief daily meditation upon the 150 prayer songs of the Bible, the Psalms. Today, in Devotional 52, let's open our Bibles to Psalm 53. Psalm 53. As we do so, I'll remind us of the three chief ways that we interpret the Psalms. We say that they are the prayers of Christ to us, to make our own, to pray back to Him. Secondly, the Psalms teach us how to pray, how to think about God and life and faith. And thirdly, every Psalm brings us to Jesus Christ. It's messianic. Psalm 53 is uh, another powerful song, uh, Psalm, prayer, that speaks to the reality of this fallen, sinful world. Psalm 53 is basically a a variation, a very close variation to Psalm 14. And so Psalm 14 came in book one of the Psalms, and here Psalm 53 comes in book two, which emphasizes the same point, that we live in a world in which we're born into sin, and only by the grace of God can we be saved from it. Psalm 53 emphasizes, once again, how the whole world has fallen short of the glory of God, what Paul will later say at the beginning of his letter to the Romans. Listen again to these first three verses that speak to the reality of the world in which we live and the world in which we need to be saved from. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, doing abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. Listen to that. A stark reality. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. But they have all fallen away. Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good. Not even one. It is, um, it is a stark reality. Sometimes I think um, uh, we wonder, are we basically, human beings, basically good people who simply do some bad things occasionally? Or are we essentially basically bad people who only do anything good by the grace and the power of God working in us? Well, Psalm 53 answers that question. None of us are good. None of us are basically just good people who lapse occasionally. As psalm after psalm reminds us, we, we are sinners from our mother's womb. We are sinners from birth. And the only good that we have is the good that God does in us. So Psalm 53 emphasizes it's not God is 95% and we add 5% to make a good, complete whole. It is, we are bad 100%, and we are only made good and right and saved by the 100% work of God the Father working through the Son in the power of the Holy Spirit for you and for me. And so Psalm 53, though very short, ends on this powerful sentence. Verse 6, Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. Salvation for Israel and for all those Gentiles grafted into Israel has come out of Zion, Mount Zion, Jerusalem, where the Messiah, the promised Jewish deliverer for all nations, Jesus Christ, was crucified. The bleakness of Psalm 53 gives us the one hope, moves us to the one hope that we have for salvation, the one and only hope, and that is by trusting by faith in the salvation that's come out of Zion, the salvation, that is, from the death and resurrection of Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, sent as Savior for all people. Brothers and sisters, today, today, hold to Jesus. Believe in Him. 
He is the one and only hope for the whole world. May this Lord bless you and keep you. May this Lord Jesus Christ shine his face upon you, be gracious to you. May this Messiah, our Lord Jesus, lift up his countenance before you and give you his salvation. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.